Today I'm going to be showing you how to use cabbage juice as a pH indicator. The ingredients you'll need are half a head of red cabbage, a sharp knife, a cutting board, a large pot, a strainer, three glass jars, an acid solution, which can be vinegar or citrus juice, a base solution, which can be laundry detergent or baking soda, and an optional coffee filter to use to make pH strips. So the first step is to cut up the half of the red cabbage into smaller pieces. Next, we're just gonna fill up a medium-sized pot with water. And then you can just put your red cabbage into the pot and you want just enough water to barely cover the cabbage. And so put the lid on and turn it all the way up so it's boiling. Once the water is boiling, we're going to go ahead here and start a timer for 20 minutes. While the cabbage is boiling for 20 minutes, you can now start to make your acid solution and your base solution. For my acid solution, I used just pure white vinegar. And for my base solution, I took about a tablespoon of baking soda and I mixed it with water until it was dissolved. As mentioned earlier, you can also use citrus juice such as lime juice or lemon juice for your acid solution. And for your base solution, you could use laundry detergent, which I opted out for as my laundry detergent already was blue in color, so it wouldn't add to the effect of the color change. Once the 20 minutes is done, as you can see here, I'm just going to strain off the liquid. I'm just using a pop, but you can use a strainer. Make sure to have oven mitts on because it's pretty hot and be careful of the steam. But you can see it's this nice dark purple color and that's what you want. If it's not this dark of a color, you may need to boil the cabbage a little bit longer. Now before you throw out all of the boiled cabbage, you can save it and actually add some vinegar and sugar and make a little bit of a slaw that would be super yummy with tacos. And that's actually what I did here. So this next step is optional. I just went from a bigger bowl and used a funnel to get the juice into a jar that would be easier for storage. Um, not very gracefully as you can see here, but if you were to be doing the experiment another day, it may be helpful to have it in a jar for storing. This is a picture of what the final color of the cabbage juice should look like. Once the cabbage juice has cooled down a little, we can begin our experiment. You can use a teaspoon and put a couple drops into each solution. As you can see, this first solution here turned a bright pink, so that would be the acid solution. And I just gave it a stir so the color was evenly spread. And this next one here is turning a dark blue sort of green color so this would be our base solution and again giving it a good stir so you can see the color throughout I also tried this experiment with lime juice to see how the color would differ and as you can see once we drop a couple drops in and give it a good stir it's this really nice bright pink which indicates an acid solution Here's a side-by-side -side of the color differences between the cabbage juice on the left and the acid solution, which was lime juice on the right. This is an optional step of the experiment. You can make little pH tester strips by taking a coffee filter and dipping it into the cabbage juice and then letting it dry and cutting it into strips. Here are my DIY pH strips. This is what the experiment would look like if you were using the pH strips instead of just adding drops into the solution. As you can see, the strip here is turning pink, indicating that this is an acidic solution. This experiment works because red cabbage contains a water-soluble pigment called anthocyanin that changes color when it is mixed with an acid or base. In acidic conditions, which is a pH less than 7, the color will turn pink. In basic conditions, which would have a pH greater than 7, the solution will turn a dark blue-greenish color. If there is no color change, the substance you are using is neutral, which would be a pH of 7, such as water. <laughs> 